Get up. Ooh. Don't tell me what to do. Itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Babesley. Why does everyone I'm keep Kenny. thinking I'm a dad? Dad, no offense. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Why would you call him Duck? Where do parents name their kids Duck? We're from Fort Lauderdale. We were on our way back before things up and went bananas. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I really don't like that me. kid. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. It kind of reminds me of... Sid from Toy Story? Here on the porch. We can visit. I'm sure you would like that. Talk to hey me, there, lady. Girls. So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. You know, in every... Um, no, I used to... No. What the hell? I didn't hear. I was let go a little while back. Well, that's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow. But even then, I can't take away the things. We I think I would do the same thing. The Zombie apocalypse. I protect only the people that I care about. Any random person. I think that works in the same way. Like, call me selfish or something, but. This could all Shit. be providence, you know? Not what we saw. You just never realize when something is happening to you what you're being given. Maybe this will all work out. Your optimism is refreshing. New these past couple days at least. I don't even know what I just said. I keep talking. I better talk when I'm walking. Relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how was that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So you're good? <laughs> anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, huh? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Being a zombie apocalypse, but I think even in real life, I don't think I would. I care for only people that are important to me. Anyone else? Uh, you're at the end of the list. So what's your family's plan? The end of the list of the people I would down to help out. And let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots, and the National Guard will do its thing. Well, on the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Need any help? No. I think I got it. Do you need any help? 
What do you mean? What you trying to say? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I have no idea what I'm doing. I think I've got <laughs> Long as I keep her safe, I think I'm doing all right. With those things out there, maybe, sure, that's enough. But you gotta ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. I'll do you wanna bite me? I will. I will fuck you up. Doing? Good, I think. <laughs> don't question my parenting there. skills. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But... We're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. See you. This is a nice farm. Herschel? I heard he's from the show. I haven't watched the show. I don't know nothing about the show. You know how to drive it? I heard it's go. good. I can heard give you a really hell of a good. critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. How you doing, Doc? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. I don't like that kid. Please tell me he doesn't. There's no key. That thing is not on. Really? Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. How the fuck is freaking wood gonna keep the zombies away? My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Poor girl's brains in. Whoa. Uh, I couldn't do that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Where am I going? Herschel! What's up, Herschel? You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. What you talking about? Not sure, I'd follow. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I was on my way out anyway. The timing of all this just happened to be right. Huh, if there ever is a good time for the supposed apocalypse. This farm's a nice plot of land. Huh, had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. It's not doing anything. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. That's where they kept, so they kept their hitters. You he ain't doing that. nothing. Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife, girlfriend. My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. 
Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? No. Mind your own business, Herschel. Sure. <laughs> no, <laughs> Being a jerk is so funny. You did, but you better become a better liar and fast. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. What the fuck? Go! I'll get my gun! It's probably that stupid, stupid fence. Why the fuck will we go around the house just to get over here? Fucking duck, man! Why would you let duck operate dead when it's on? Oh, fuck duck, man. No, fuck him. I'm saving you. I'll be right. Get the fuck out of there. Oh my god. <laughs> That's terrible. That's bad. Push! Push this! Clementine, why can't you help me out? Oh you done fucked up. He's dead. He's dead here. Yeah. Boom! Boom! Headshot. Don't lie. We'll stitch you up. You can see it through a lie. It almost, it almost got me, man. It, Lee tried to save me. I know, son. I. Uh... He's gonna come back. Gonna come back, get out of there. What is she doing? What's the mother doing? She's like, back up. Get out. Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. You tried to help him, but this piece of shit let him die. He was scared. He ran away like a little girl, but I can't blame him. You can't blame Kenny. The hell I can't. You watch your back. We can tell it's your daughter and you need his help. Please. Just go. I told you, that's not Get my daughter. Out and never come back. Got that ride to make it if you want it. It's Duck's fault. It's all Duck's fault. Stupid Duck. This is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Look! Hey there. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. 
Why don't you just scream, hey zombies, come and kill us. your humanity we're not dangerous just regular folks what's dangerous is a bunch of people running outside and drawing their attention to us lee's right we're just regular folks but we actually like helping people you'll have to excuse her the hell he or anyone will this is about survival do you guys not see what's happening what is it i i have to pee I'd go out there again in a second. Oh my god. Like you have the You're worst time. <laughs> in a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, damn. Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. She's the leader here. But it looks like she's losing control of her people. If you were in my shoes, you'd be the... Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. Shit. We let one in. <laughs> shit. We have to end this now. Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No. I'm cleaning him up. There's no fight. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? We fuck him up. Dad, it's just a boy. Kick his ass. Right, I'll handle it. We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. Everyone, chill the fuck out. Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. <laughs> and you, shut the fuck up. They will oh, and they will oh this guy's mad. And none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those. His head's things. fucking what huge. Are you talking about? He's bitten. That's how you turn. He's not bitten. Lee, stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Fuck you and her. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. The problem. Clementine, you're smart hey, enough to I'm realize we're talking here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. Then we deal with it then. But right now, we're just freaking everybody out. Then get ready to deal with it, because that boy is it's bitten. not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. Oh my god, he's scary as fuck. Um. No! You don't touch that boy! You don't touch anybody! I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here too. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me though, because it's me before anyone else in here! <laughs> Clementine, god damn it, man! Oh, girl! Why are, why do you keep falling down? Get up! Get up! Pay attention to her! Kick that motherfucker! Punch him! Oh, you, you, you cocksucker! Oh, no, 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 no! No! I'm pressing X! I'm pressing X! Oh! Man. 
Jesus Christ, man. Headshots, you don't waste any shots, man. Just great, thanks. Can I have a gun? Uh, guys? Everybody down. Stay quiet. They're gonna get in. Shut up. Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. This guy oh, just has to calm down. That's what you get. <laughs> Angry at life, man. I did try to get him to calm down. Can it, asshole? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. You just called me an asshole. Why would I go looking through that now? We'll get in there somehow. Thank you so much. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. He just wanted to throw your kid out the damn... Like nobody got Best a your kid's face and then you want to help him out. Because that makes sense. Energy bar. Ooh, I know. Clementine, you hungry? It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. See, I told you I know how to take care of kids. Hey there. Not that I'm ready to Hi. be a father. <laughs> Like in a zombie apocalypse, what would happen if you found I'm okay. a little I'm girl or a little, little boy? Stay there, huh? Yeah, it wasn't much. I know, Glenn. I'll see if I can find something else for you. We should get to know each other. <laughs> so, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... <laughs> I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. It's like, he was so awkward. It was like trying to talk to a girl he liked. Trying to make conversation. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. Well, sit tight. Okay. Like, what would you do if you find, like, a little boy or girl and you have to take that. care of them as if you, you were their parents? That That's, like, a lot of pressure. You're, you're, like, um... Like, you're responsible for another life, basically, when you're a parent. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon.
I don't remember them very well. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. I ain't giving Lauderdale. one to Duck. Fuck Duck. Fuck him and... He's the one that got... What's his face killed? Okay, we got three. Three energy bars. Can I give one to Clementine again? No, I can't. Um... Let's see. I might give one to Carly. Just because... Boobs, man. <laughs> uh... Try to get some rest, hon. How can okay. I with those things out there? Who the fuck is this guy? When did he show up? I suck to her. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter. Especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. What's so hard about this? <clears throat> Nothing. I bet it's the batteries. Yep. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You, you know that dumb. there are no batteries in that thing. <laughs> of course. <laughs> what now? <laughs> no. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. <laughs> I wouldn't even really know what to look for. You yeah, want food? Wouldn't find it some stuff to eat. Oh, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't need it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thanks. Yep. I can't even give him one. He he looks like he has enough to eat anyway. Oh. But it's just one battery. How the fuck is that? That's not gonna be enough. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. I am not giving Duck anything. I have two more. Who wants it? I want it. Can I eat it myself? Fuck. Fine, I'll give it to him. Hey, Lee. Really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What are you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so... We ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? I don't know. Well, wouldn't they be at their house or somewhere like that? Cat, it's not our business. Uh, I'm not sure they made it. We passed some houses on the way in and... Things are pretty bad here. Well, you just don't know. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah? I panicked, you know. I'm not proud of it. It happens. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. Yeah, that's rough. I killed that boy. We could have saved him together. You didn't have a choice. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go.
Okay, Duck, you want your snack already? It's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. He doesn't deserve it. <laughs> he killed someone. <sighs> All right, I'm not giving you one. You're me. I'm not sure I got your name. It's Look at that, Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again, and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad. That didn't help. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot. Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen him get bad attacks that he couldn't get over <laughs> and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. I just saw his eyes open. He was awake. He's faking it. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck <laughs> you. Yeah. Look at that, he's awake. It's just that... Yeah? We've got kids here. Families. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, barely seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. You're not getting any snack from me. You're mean. You defending your asshole of a dead. <laughs> <laughs> 